Hello again you guys, it's Carly from The Poetry of Nice and welcome back to one of my sales update videos. So if you're new here, this channel is primarily um, about thrifting. I take you along to yard sales and thrift stores and garage sales and all that good stuff and show you what I buy kind of in real time and then I put my hauls on the end of those videos so you can see exactly what I picked up basically. What I like to do is every sort of two weeks or so right now I'm doing sales videos like this because I like to show you guys what those items actually sell for as well. I feel like that's useful information. So I sell on three platforms, Etsy, Poshmark and eBay and I'll take you through and I'm just going to show you basically like a cross section of things that sold. Stay tuned to the end of the video though because there's one sale that may have been my like most favorite, most quirky sale I think I've ever had. So just, you know, hang in there if you can. Um, but yeah, I will tell you what the item sold for. I'll tell you what I paid for it and where I picked it up originally. So first item is this vintage NRA snapback hat. Paid $1 at a yard sale and it sold for $19.95. And this item was listed for about two to three months tops. And next is a vintage Halloween sweater. This time of year, these things fly off the shelf for me. So this was listed for maybe like four to five days. Picked it up for $2.60 at a yard sale. I know that's like a random uh, cost of goods, but that's how much it averaged out to basically for everything I, I bought at that particular estate sale. I'm sorry, estate sale. Um, and it sold for $34.95, like I said, in under a week. And next is a vintage jack-o'-lantern blow mold trick-or-treat bucket that I thought was adorable but has taken about two and a half years to sell. So there we go. Um, I wouldn't necessarily pick these up again because they're quite big to store as well and a little bit sort of fiddly to ship if you like even though they're not a breakable. Um, it sold for $25.50. I'm not sure why that price is so random on Etsy but that's what it sold for. I paid a dollar originally. I would still always, always, always pick up the vintage Halloween and uh, Christmas blow molds as in the decoration or like you know you can plug in they light up or just the stand-up decorations almost always will I pick those up when they're a good price but these kind of things I'll probably steer away from for now uh, next item is a vintage Hawaiian dress. It had an amazing, like, huge split at the side. It was high neck. It was very cool. I have it down as a rummage sale item, and I paid uh, $1 for it. It sold for $44.95, um, and it sold in about six weeks of being listed. I will say as well, just across the board, I don't do free shipping. It's very, very rare, should we say, that I do free shipping. So if that happens, I'll let you know, but otherwise, these are all buyers paying shipping as well. Okay, very random sale, of course. Uh, so another $2 and 60 cents item because it's from the same yard sale as or estate sale I keep saying yard sale estate sale as the Halloween sweater I just showed you um three vintage I think they were from CVS originally from my research told me there was obviously Dracula Frankenstein and the Phantom of the Opera they were the universal monsters and um, their tags unfortunately had been removed but they were very easy to identify um and the three of them sold for $29.95 all right, and on to Poshmark. Again, these don't reflect like every single sale I've had. So bear in mind, there are sales dotted in here that are definitely sort of, you know, 14, 15, $16 sales. Um, and I'll try and show you a few of those, of course, when I'm showing you sales as well. But um, I also like to show you kind of the fun stuff or the quirky stuff or the things that sold quickly. So just remember, there's a bit of everything in here. Um, okay, Matilda Jane uh, twist back layered sweater. This was listed for less than a day before it sold. I paid $5 at a yard sale and it's sold for 30. Uh, Allegria, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I'm going with Allegria uh, leather mules. These are like comfort shoes, like work shoes. I think like um, teachers, nurses, chefs, that kind of thing. And um, paid 25 cents for these at my little uh, thrift store that was doing all the clothes, shoes and bags for 25 cents for a while. If you didn't catch any of those videos, you could go back and check it out. I'll try and link one right here. I had a wonderful time thrifting then and um, but this is one of the items i found so 25 cents sold for full asking price of 35 dollars these were a really fast flip as well these were from just the last weekend i went to a church rummage sale those outside um and i found these they were a new to me brand i paid five dollars i'm going to go ahead and show you the label as well because i feel like these are a little bit of a bolo on every platform ebay and poshmark they got all kinds of attention and they eventually sold for a best offer here of 43 which i was happy to take to get them moving nice and quickly they're pretty big to store so they're corral vintage i believe these were sold at the buckle correct me if i'm wrong um but yeah five dollars into 43 
obviously that's before fees um, in just a couple of days. So happy to move them along that quickly. Um, another, well, these are 24 cents. I'm sorry, again, that weird average cost of goods that keeps like cropping up. Um, but 24 cents, um, I got this at a yard sale that I went to three different times. I did three different thrift with me videos because it was so cool. And it was, I called it junk pickers paradise because it was, it just totally was. Um, so Birkenstock Papilio, that's just like under the umbrella of Birkenstock, if you like, um, uh, 24 cents sold for $40 and they were listed for, um, about two weeks, I think. All right. Napkin holders random i know um but i wanted to show you guys as well that i've sold quite a few random like home goods on poshmark these last couple of weeks um so you know it can be done there's definitely a market for the, uh, for it there is all i'm saying um so i paid a dollar for this little set of six owl napkin holders they were vintage they were marked on the bottom um 84 um 1984 and they sold for 20. Um, a throw blanket. Uh, I wasn't really familiar with the brand. When I looked it up, it seemed to be doing okay. The color combination wasn't really phenomenal, I have to say. I don't know why it won't let me scroll down. There we go. <laughs> let me show you the label. Um, I paid 50 cents for this blanket and it sold for 25 on a best offer. Uh, new with tag Lucky Brand Lavinia um, Espadrille Wedges. They, uh, I bought these for a dollar. At a yard sale, they were listed for about six weeks or so, and they sold for 40, which I think was my full asking price. Here's a little $14 sale, just completely random, paid 25 cents for this top. Uh, Banana Republic ruffle neck sweater sold for 14. So, you know, nice simple things in there as well. Um, Hobo International Leather Stitch Crossbody Bag. This is, oh, why is it going everywhere? I do not know. Control yourself, computer. Um, I'm going to show you that label as well. This was the first time that I have found this, but I was aware of the brand and that it was fairly expensive to buy. Um, and I paid, I don't pay $2 for that. I paid $2 for that item and it sold for the 50 that you see here. And this one was listed probably for about four weeks. And the last one on Poshmark is a Beedle Lac. I'm going to show you that label too, just in case you're interested and I just butchered it. A Rainbow Southwestern Zip Up Blanket. So this was, I think, called like a cuddle blanket is what my research was telling me. I picked this up very recently at the same estate sale where I got the Halloween items that I showed you. There's a few more sales from that to come still in eBay as well. I absolutely loved the colors and I'd heard of the brand, so I decided to grab it. Um, unfortunately, I had just a little bit of a condition issue here and there, nothing major. And so um, I took a best offer of 60 and I paid four for this. And it was only listed for a week before it sold. In fact, less than a week, I think, overall. All right, let's move on to eBay right quick. Um, vintage guess and very, very classic guess you can see on the back there. Um, sort of 80s, 90s, high rise, tapered leg or straight leg women's jeans. Pick these up at a thrift store. They just happened to be on a rack that they like pulled out in front of me. So I nabbed them as fast as I could. Uh, $6.99 is what I paid for these and they sold for $45 on a best offer, obviously plus shipping. These were from a very recent um, yard sale. I paid 50 cents a piece. They were all the same size. Uh, Life is good. I took a best offer of 25, so $2 total into those. Um, this was also an incredibly fast flip. Um, I don't even think this has been up in a thrift with me video yet. It's like, it's coming basically. Um, but I was at a yard sale. I wasn't finding much of anything. And then they were still like putting things out, even though it was sort of 11 o'clock in the morning, I think it was. Um, and this is one of the things they kind of threw onto the ground and I grabbed it because it was new and sealed. And I scanned the barcode because you can do that on eBay, pulled them up and the comps looked really good. This, um, it's like a textbook with a CD inside, I guess. I paid 50 cents for this and it sold within two hours of being listed for a best offer of 60. So definitely a good flip. Keep your eyes peeled for certain, like more obscure textbooks. When I say obscure, I just mean, you know, subjects that you don't find all the time, basically. Like I don't tend to pick up nursing textbooks and things, but things like that, that are a bit more interesting, sort of like, you know, sign language and stuff, I will take the time to scan, especially if they're new and sealed. All right, this item I paid 24 cents for. Again, new with tags, Victoria's Secret. Um, I didn't really know what to call this, so I put every single word that I could think of into the title. Unfortunately, it was flawed. There was a little bit of a stain. There was a couple of little diamantes missing. I disclosed all that. It still sold for 20 on a best offer. 
um, Dansko. I love picking up Dansko. I paid $3 for these at the thrift store and they sold for full asking price of $49.99, though they did take about three months to sell. Uh, this was something that was very kindly gifted to me in a lot when all of the great unpleasantness of this year kicked off and I was running out of inventory. A few people sent me free inventory and it was wonderful. Such a blessing. This is one of those items. Toad & Company McKenna sweater vest took a best offer of $29.99 on this and like I said, it was a free piece. It was just a blessing to me. Um, this is my favorite, my favorite thing I have sold in the last couple of weeks maybe ever I don't know I really wanted to keep him for my like weird shelf that I have I have a lot of vintage Disney art I collect and then we just have like weird movie stuff and I wanted him to be a part of it but he was worth money so I decided not to so he is Ghostface from Scream he was from 1997 um, and he's supposed to have a voice record in him unfortunately that was not working Never mind, he still sold for $44.99 in two weeks of being listed. Obviously, it's a good time of year right now, being uh, mid-September, because Halloween is coming. And I paid $2.60 for him, but he was too cool to leave behind. So off he goes. <laughs> um, Y'all may remember this from a very recent haul video. Oh, sorry, I should say thrift with me video um where i was picked up a few items i couldn't get to a table because everybody was shoulder to shoulder all the gentlemen should we say uh, because there was lots of tools and electronics and stuff and i couldn't get in so i picked around the outside and i talked about that in the video and about how you can still find stuff when you go around the outside um, and this was one of those items it sold within a day being listed and sold for best offer of 30 dollars. so and i paid a dollar for it so there's always cool stuff to be found um, this sold in about two days being listed, paid a dollar, picked this up at a recent yard sale and it sold for best offer of 15. I'm happy to take the best offer um, because I had quite a few of those bras so I'd rather sort of move them quickly and one dollar into 15 is still pretty good. Um, this was another 25 cent item from that thrift store I was telling you about where everything was 25 cents for a while um, and it sold for best offer of 19.99 and I do like the brand Clara Sun Wu. I've sold it a few times, here is the label in case you're interested. I do find that it sells pretty well on eBay. This is from the Great VHS Experiment, which I'm sort of regretting because they're really, really big to store. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, but I paid $3 for a huge tote, massive tote full of VHS. And these were in there. I lotted them out. They sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So I've already made my $3 back and everything else is profit. But so I am sort of regretting it. I'll be honest, like it's a lot to work through and they tend to be like slower sellers I'm learning. So maybe VHS aren't for me, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, never mind. Um, This torrid top I picked up, it was size 2X, picked up at a thrift store. So I paid $4.99 for it. It sold for $27.99, full asking price. Um, this Sundance top was from a rummage sale. I paid $1. It was 100% silk. I love the brand Sundance. Again, let me show you that label in case you are interested. This is a catalog company um, and it sold for $27 on a best offer. And that sold pretty quickly as well, just a couple of weeks after being listed. This sold at auction. This was also from the same estate sale that Ghostface and um, the Halloween sweater and the Beadlelac uh, blanket was from. I got all kinds of stuff there and I've sold all, all kinds of it already. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I paid $3 for this clock. It was literally hanging on the wall and I plucked it off. Um, and it was a vintage Kinetti uh, postmodern clock. There was one that was also not working for she, this was not working, not working condition. Um, they sold for I think 45. So I did just a little bit better putting on auction there. It went for 51 plus shipping. Um, if this had been in working condition, they can go for hundreds I think so it's a shame that it wasn't working but I'm still very glad to put uh, turn three dollars into 51. Um, this I think went to a subscriber or a viewer thank you so much for supporting me by buying something from my store I appreciate it so much and I know it's for your daughter and I hope she absolutely loves it and um, paid three dollars for this at a recent yard sale and sold for twenty dollars and thirty cents on a best offer and then the last two items are also to a viewer and again so grateful thank you so much for buying for me and I hope you love them we had two Talbot's tops a, a black and white buffalo plaid which I personally absolutely loved for fall and then 
then another like gingham type plaid Talbot's top as well. So I hope that you really enjoy them. All right, you guys, that is everything I have to show you. Like I said, it's just like a cross section of random things that have sold for me in the last two weeks. Um, as you can probably tell, if you've been here for my channel for a while, I'm getting into hard goods way more and I am loving it. I honestly couldn't suggest it more. Like I'm selling so much more and making more money and I'm having more fun thrifting because it's really sort of appealing to my sense of curiosity. So if you're on the fence, give it a try. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and you like thrifty content, please think about hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more. Come thrift with me. If you are looking for a very friendly, very nice Facebook group all about reselling online, think about checking out the Facebook group. There's a link down below. It's called Thrift Nice. And we would love to have you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, you guys.